And we're back. Let me untangle this cable. Alright, we're still on the PC Engine. Uh, Dragon Egg. Man, Dragon Egg. <laughs> that was a good game. Uh, they just... they I don't know if they ran into size constraints, time constraints. Uh, they forgot to make a full game. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, because we're going to play Owie Blink. Uh, this is from West uh, Weststone. Weststone is the makers of uh, Wonder Boy, uh, Clockwork Aquario, um, that game on the PS1 where you milk flying cows. <laughs> oh, I always forget you gotta hit the, the two key on this to load. It's just like the equivalent of like hitting the B button on the NES. All right, so Owie Blink or Blue Blink is a um, Osamu Te Tezuka. Ma is it a manga or it, it, I, it, I know it's his last anime. He died during the production of it. Um, it is about a boy who saves a magical blue horse, and the horse is all like, "Yo, you did me a solid. Let me know when you're in trouble. I'll do you a solid." And then, whoop, the scaling. And then, um, the boy's father is kidnapped? Oh, jeez, it does not know what to do. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna play around. Since it seems to be one of those games. Hey, Glossé. And welcome back, Cameron. Uh, you missed Dragon Egg, which was very short, and I feel very bad. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. That's not it. No, 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 no. We need sampling. Sampling. Uh, turn the auto. I'm so bad at this. I think three, four is the best. It's like you're at an eye exam. <laughs> I think four is the best. We'll lock it in there. <laughs> this game also has a buzz. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Make sure to watch out for traps set by Guros. If you get hurt, press pause and then button one and you will be revived. Wish you good luck. So you have this world map, and you can traverse it in different ways, and you can actually, like, enter a stage from behind. And then you're in control of three characters. Scaling still doesn't seem right. So I think it was the age... Where I would have been happy to loop Dragon Egg every day. Oh, yeah. Meow. Let me. I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta keep playing with this. It just doesn't look right to me. Maybe it's not a 256 uh, PC Engine game. If that's the case, it's gonna throw it off. Does it one also look alright? Oh no, I'm dropping frames, the cute armadillo, Doom Dust. <laughs> uh, this looks okay. No, it doesn't when it moves. Yeah, so you have three characters and you can't change between them. Uh, what button does that? I thought you could. I thought you can get different shots. Am I crazy? There he is. And you don't always have these three characters. I think you always have the boy, but you can actually swap out the characters at certain, like, towns and different things. And you have bombs, right? Oh no, you have a cool-ass split shot. And you use coin or you use keys to uh, open chests. 
The big stairs you pass lead to another road. And yeah, depending on how you exit the stage uh, determines your path next. I'm gonna play one more time with this. Is this six? What if we just uh, let it do its own thing? We'll just live with it. The big stairs you passed led to another road. Yeah, so we can't go up on this path. So we can only go this way now. We could go re-enter the stage and then do that path. Which I might do? Yeah, it's like you always have, like, Ganajin, and your partners always shoot the shot that the lead character has. It's okay, we're just grinding money. Yeah, so this is what the, he was talking about, and that you can take the stairs. And now we can go up here. Hello, Berserk. X. Yeah, the scaling seems weird. This might be a, a not a regular resolution PC Engine game. And if that's the case... Oh well. Oh yeah, this game does something weird, is that when you come up against walls, your character, um... Uh, your character auto, like, climbs over them, clambers over them. The game also kind of controls like Dragon Egg. Ninja Mafia Party. I mean, we have some criminals with us, but they, they got a hard gold. I guess we are doing shurikens. <laughs> knock knock. The bridge you passed on the way here leads to another road. A red key is in the tower. That it leads to. A red key is in the tower that leads to. Oh, and we didn't get that chest. That's right. That's how this game works. Uh, kinda. We played a game called Dragon Egg, which is very cute. But the problem was, it was very easy and very done. Found a secret, I think. Oh no! Oh, wait, I can still get that at least. Alright, okay, the scaling's weird. Guys, let's, um. Oh man, Valis. I've done all the Valises. Also, that's a CD game, so I'd have to get the CD out. Um, let's just. Because this is killing me. We're gonna, we're gonna play on this generic. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell dot level. <laughs> oh yeah, other characters jump differently too. Yeah, um, I actually have a whole YouTube playlist of all the, the phalluses, if you want to see that. No, don't tell her. Link. I guess we have to end the stage this way. Oh yeah, this looks way better. <laughs> it does look way better. Um, I mean, I have that means I have to find. She would be like, "Well, you gotta find the right uh, resolution sampling." <laughs> I should go pop in town real quick. Cause it's got these turtles that Gamera around, and I love them. Oh yeah, 
yeah, at some point we, we got lo uh, the new characters. I don't know when that happened. I guess this stage. This guy has bombs. And the princess does nothing. But she does have a big jump. Oh, that just ends the stage. Hmm, Blue's Journey might be a, a pretty good... Kind of... Kind of playing in terms of graphics. Uh, Blue's Journey was an ADK game. So this is by West One, or Weststone. Makers of Wonder Boy. They did a lot of work for Hudson around this time. Oh, oh you can't duck. Getting generated. <laughs> I gotcha. It's okay, we're getting lots of money. I also did all the Wonder Boys. The other road leads to the boss. Don't let him defeat you. Okay, so here's the thing. You could enter the tower from this side, but I think if you enter from the bridge, uh, it'll give you a key. Whoa. And we're back to our, our normal troop. Yeah, so because I entered from this direction... I think something's changed? I can't remember. Well, it looks like they have different fires, like, uh, attacks and jump heights. Like, this guy has bombs. Boom. Oh, I forgot. I don't know if they move faster. I know the jumping is different. This guy has boomerangs. Yeah, that's the red key. Ah. And then when you do boss fights, that's when the, the blue horse appears. Oh no, my character didn't jump. And he was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, so this, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, this is an Asamu Tezuka joint. Uh, I think it was his last uh, anime production. Um, yeah, I think he died during the production of it. And there's a, a horse, a magic horse. I was like, one of these falls again. With the red key, you can get into the boss lair. Have you found it yet? It's on the top floor. So now we have the, the, the key. And then the game has an auto scroller. So the characters follow you like one to one, so you never have to worry about like if you ever play the game like um, Mickey Mouse for the NES, where Minnie Mouse. Oh yeah, it's an auto scroller, but you get to you could jolt the screen forward. The game's like okay, I get it. Tired of waiting. Man, this guy with the dodges. But yeah, we needed that key to get into the, the boss level. So you have to kind of scour the world map a little bit. They win at all the scrollers, damn right.
I'm trying to think, if I enter this door, will there be someone that'd be like, you need the key? I'm just going in. And now you get to enjoy this screaming Aztec head. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Arrgh, an angry Aztec coin. And then this is the title character. Uh, Owie Blink. Blue Blink. Owie's blue. Akka is red. Thank you for the Akka Supa. No, wait. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, that's a different kind of VTuber. Ow. Burn. I will say one thing compared to uh, Dragon Egg. Bosses have a lot more health. Yeah. I gotta get goodies. Yay! Look at this horse. This horse is amazing. You beat the masked sun. It's probably because of Blink, though. With him, you could save your dad. Bye, Rose Town. Welcome to Ivory Castle. So that's as far as I've ever played this game. So everything else is going to be, uh, sight unseen. Did you find your dad? I'm sure that you'll find him. So yeah, I don't know about the other characters' motivations, like the... the Hamburglers. <laughs> They might, they might be thieves with a heart of gold. I got enough keys. Let's see what's in here. One coin. They're pretty good about, like, hey, you think you have enough keys? <laughs> Get got. You missed the egg. I'm sorry. Yeah, Liquid Kids is, like, um, a descendant of, like, New Zealand story. So this goes to the Ivory Castle, or this... No, we're at the Ivory Castle. Sorry. This goes to the mines, but do I want... I, I kind of like that amusement park. Let's check out the mines first. Like, I think, um... What was I going to say? Um, I think... New Z Sorry, um... God, Liquid Kids. The, the like, working title for that for the longest time was New Zealand... Story 2. Uh, that's probably bad. I haven't ran into a store or anything. Orbs are good. Orbs are full lives. Like an extra life. Extra man. That hole seems suspicious. Like my fireplace? Everyone thinks it's just swell. Oh, let's let's try to find Let's go to, let's try to find the exit that takes us to the uh the amusement park. The shot seems pretty good. How did, how did we exit the stage before? The door? Yeah, that's how we exited. So yeah, so, so this game does have a little bit of like backtracking or replaying stages and trying to figure out how to exit them the way the game wants you to. I think it's still pretty cute. Well, it could be like Cave Story in the fireplace is how you get to the next, like, thing. No. I need better jump. Yay. Up ahead, there are many pits. Blink will help you if you fall. You should always check all, uh... 
Yeah, we're not getting that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I remember this stage. I did try this a little bit. The stage has killer balloons. Take this auto scroller. I'm invincible and I'm scrolling your screen. Damn. Right, I'm out of keys. This is the Mario 3 killer. In the next area, a red key is hidden. Make sure that you watch your step there. Okay, so there is a red key somewhere. See, a part of it is just trying to find the right path. I'm gonna use this guy, because... His split shot might be easier to find hidden goodies. Oh! Oh my god, look at him! Damn. I don't wanna kill him. No! I'm sorry. I don't wanna kill you, but also coins make me feel good. Ooh. Aw. Let's see what's in here. The exit. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. Uh, Fatomi Amigo, what are um, Mamimi's reptile friends called again? Their names? I'm, I always forget. One's Alex, right? I'm a fake fan. <laughs> I don't have a key. I have a key now. <laughs> I'm... Hmm. Can you jump? Oh, yeah. She has the most jump. Alright, so she can't attack, but she has... She's got ups. Well, I have the speed feather and... No, he can't jump. I always forget this. It's like a whole life. Hamburglar is, is he's not very good at jumping. Enzo and Mondo. That's such a good name. I didn't find the red key. Aha! No, not the right key. Maybe you'll give me a clue. Anyone find the red key yet? Maybe this paper will give us a hint. Look by a door. Oh no, you're a door. Like I said, we do need the red key to fight the boss. Yeah, I think... Are we getting lives for every hundred coins? Because if that's the case... I gotta kill our friends. There's a door over here, though. I like the music. Let's not scroll the screen too far. There you are. So we didn't even go in this level. We might as well, to get some keys. I guess this follows the, like, we'd be underground. Nope, I <laughs> did not make that jump. Yeah, so like I said, you automatically vault over, like, one tile-high blocks when you come across them. It's nice as a game to make the ceiling. You can clip through it. Oh my god, slimes. And they look... 
These are just the slimes from uh, <laughs> Trio of the Punch. You might say, but well, that's just a slime, but you know, just the way they are, like, how fat they are. And I, I used the key to get a key. Ah, I got... I want to use the Hamburglar? Nope, he's still taking this one. Okay. So far, I haven't lost. <laughs> okay, ow. Well, I'll take five money, I guess. Well, Trio of the Punch is like assets for games that never got made, or... Like, it's definitely just the, the developers having to laugh. You already got a key, right? Try opening all chests for goodies. I, I guess I did. <laughs> Got attacked by killer tire. Strong baddie attire. Maybe they're not tires. Maybe there's some kind of gummy candy. Ah, jeez. I didn't think he'd make it. Like, you know, like a gummy candy with like maybe like a fruit center? Like a juicy center? No. I'm... The hamburger hamburger's getting beat up. Trust that guy. I opened the chest. Got paid. No, that's not something I'm seeing. <laughs> I love uh, Day of the East, though. Big, big fan. How we blink? Oh, it's like that thing from Willow. The movie. I guess you kind of fight it in the game. <laughs> He's going nuts. Can't shoot fast enough. He's shooting spaghetti at me. Oh, there's a platform there. Ow, shit. <laughs> this guy hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, horse. Losing all my horses. What does he shoot? They shoot love. We still haven't done anything for this year's car November. And like that, we leave that stage to Yellow Town. How many blue keys do you have? Every chest needs a key. I have none. I'm I'm keyless. No. No. I like the noise that the boomerang guy makes, but I don't know how good of a weapon it is. <laughs> Did I try these doors? I know, I can't jump high enough. And you really gotta- you have to have all three of your characters on the ground. To switch. Ow, ow, bear! This game got hard all of a sudden. Cause I know healing's kinda hard in this game, cause they don't drop a lot of health items in the game. <laughs> Though it does look like- and maybe I'm getting, like, hearts every gold? Oh god, a bear came after me. Like, every hundred. Mmm, I got one key. That'll work. I'm gonna go in the saloon. If you're going ahead, watch out! 
That is very dangerous. Make sure to be on the lookout for a red key hidden in a jar. Okay. Not too helpful. Now let us go this way. I kind of want to redo that stage and get the top route unlocked. Pay attention to the jars, kids. That's a clue. The watering can. I don't have a I don't have a uh, Alfred Chicken voice. It's the watering can, kids. That's a clue. I don't I I can't sound distressed enough to be Alfred Chicken. God, thank God I don't have to play that piece of shit. I'm so sorry to all the Alfred Chicken fans. Maybe it's good. I'm just slagging it off. Getting my ass kicked by bears. <laughs> Any Alfred Chicken. Oh man, all the stages became all the scrollers. They're slow in water. Oop. I feel like I always get this bomb when there's no enemies. Oh, that's a jar. That's a bad jar. I touched it. I didn't mean to touch it. Like, you can't really stop yourself. These are interesting platforms. Me? Eh? Oh, he didn't die. He didn't die. He's generating me. He, he dropped poison. No, blue, blue blink, help. I don't have a key. Hopefully it's not important. Well, they said the red keys to the jar. Up ahead is dangerous. Make sure that you stay alert at all times. Do we want to go in that nightmare? I don't want to go that nightmare. <laughs> He's my magic horse friend. I need him. Mickey Mouse was here at one point. When God, I can't do it. Oh, Goofy! You seen Pluto? There, that's that's your Mickey Mouse. I don't have a key. Any keys? We have the Fat Hamburglar, so we could use a spread shot to try to find secrets. Jeez. Well, we live down here now. What do I use to display chat? Like, up above me? Or just how do I read chat? Oh, the sacrifice in life? I think it said you pause and you hit a, a button. The game kind of introduces that, I think. Above me? That's just uh, Streamlabs. I've got a lot of CSS on it. Custom CSS. Because I don't like the way default Streamlabs chat works. Like, any of the defaults. You know my name is, like, too long for a lot of chat boxes? <laughs> Dream Harry Live. We picked that name... Um... 
Because we were gonna be like, we're, we're a ship, and then we're a crew. Ow. I touched poison, get dizzied. This is bad, because I might need that jar. Let's try not to... Oh, God, you're just so fast. Oh, that is the red key. No, oh, I need that. I can't get there. <sighs> well, we know where the red key is. Yeah, I had to like sit and play around with CSS and learn CSS a little bit to get that chat the way I was happy with. Maybe then I'm, I'm, I'm still not the happiest. <laughs> Could be always be better. Your stream can always be better. That's that that hustle. Before you leave, please listen. You should probably change formation in the next area. There's traps there too. Be careful. Yeah, sadly we gotta redo the stage. Who would be good? Oh, those eat the hammers. Yeah, okay. Uh, except his jump is bad. Hmm. We'll see if that's enough jump. Yeah, I was right about the coins equaling hearts. I don't think it's enough jump. What hit me last time? I almost don't want that. I don't want this poison, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat it. And eat that poison. I <laughs> think you stay poisoned until you heal. Luckily, the end of the stage is probably here. Go, go, go! Ah, oh, thank you. Now I can heal. Oh, take those dodgeballs. Just chucking jawbreakers at people. <sighs> my my model doesn't know what to do when they drink water. So we could go to this area, or we can go to the spooky cave. She did say there's a lot of traps around in the spooky cave. I like traps. And they also mentioned changing your formation. No. That's probably why. You probably want hamburglar. Hamburglar jumps. Yeah, you know, there's all these Ronald McDonald and McDonald's games, but like, there's no hamburger game where you just burgle hamburgers. Okay, I had a feeling something was hidden. Just a stopwatch. No, I don't have a key. Please. Yeah, big beefy health. They're gonna put poison here. Yep. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm like, what would I do here? Oh, can't duck. And it's like, oh, I would totally put poison here. <laughs> I 
That is definitely what I would have done. That's like Star Tropics design. <laughs> oh, the player learned that they could make they could get a uh, a health from that. Your shots are so weird to aim, man. That's like a big 20. The next boss uses his tongue to attack. Make sure to stay away from his tongue. I like it we're just this rolling caravan. <laughs> yes, you try, tried it again. I gotta remember I have the princess. She can jump. She got big ups. But no attack. Oh, cool. I, I wonder if the poison jar... Okay, you can despawn it. <laughs> Man, when's the last time we had a key? <laughs> I don't know if the number the random number generator is just against us on this one. Cause I've been killing enemies. I gotta find the bird that drops a key. That was a lot of money. I well, gotta put that in front of the door. I like when the princess shoots, because she she puts both her arms into it. Oh god, okay. I thought he was gonna land on the platform. This guy looks like a reject Star Wars character. Ah, I'm sorry. Is this Gulp Shido? We found him. We found Gulp Shido. Ah. You gotta change uh, levels pretty fast, or he'll get you. No, oh, don't get me gobble shit out. He has a little vest on. He's just a little weird, a little weird tongue dragon. to die. There's one thing, these bosses have a lot of health. <laughs> you don't have a charge shot, do you, Blink? Hey, we got keys. Rainbow Town. I guess I'll stop here. Welcome to Rainbow Town. Oh, it's the, the turtles that do the gamma thing. But you have to be like above them to get them to do that. Are you deadly water? Last time we saw water was only like waist high, so I wasn't sure. Big top. Okay, I gotta remember I have the princess. She also just shoot everything. You just non-stop shoot until you find items. And then my hand's gonna get tired. That probably wasn't worth... That was, though. Do we go in? Let's go in. Damn it. 
Though it does, that was the way to get to the Taj Mahal. I also kind of want to see if this area is. Oh, the bird's back. That was a bad bird. It seems like the bird will decide what item to drop and drop uh, that each time, so... Like... Maybe I can get a good bird. Like, that was the poison bird. The cursed poison bird. <laughs> I don't use this guy enough. I don't give him... Like, he's cool. He's got boomerangs. And if you let go of the button, they come back. Otherwise, they go full screen if you hold it. Get up there. He's probably really good at finding hidden st stuff. Uh, I have two. Kinda worth, I guess. Could have been better. Can she make this? I forgot already. No. All these birds are bad. Yeah, I kind of like the, the partner mechanic. That's too far. Someone told me there is a blue key hidden in the school ahead. Uh, but the blue keys seem regular. Unless there's a... Maybe it's a special. Okay, and that's a school. Maybe, the, maybe this gate requires multiple keys. One day I will master. Oh, it's like a school play yard. This is great. We're getting our lives back, so that's good. Back up to five. Oh, the sand actually slows you down. I like this game. It's got a lot of neat mechanics. Uh, I need big boy jump. The main guy has the worst shot, I guess. But it's the most straightforward. Fat Hamburglar has... <laughs> Hold on, let me try that word again. <laughs> what did I say? Hamburglar. Um, Fat Hamburglar has the best shot, but he's also, like, the worst at jumping. Uh... The other shots are just, like, okay, I guess. This one seems like it can rack up damage really fast. The only thing is you don't really fight bosses with any of these, so... You don't ever get a feel for how these would work and... God dang. <laughs> that was poison! Thank you. Next time we look before we leap. But we have to look because... Supposedly there's a key in here. We probably already missed it on my first door. Uh oh. No, that's just a, a regular key. I mean, they did just say a blue key was hidden in the school. It didn't say anything about it being special. <laughs> the road ahead leads to a prison, but it's very dangerous. Also, check all the doors there. One may be open. Hmm. 
Now let's go check the Taj Mahal because we still don't have the boss key. I love the music in this game. <laughs> I don't fear sea anemones. Let's just destroy all words today. English is dead. Zoom. We have so many hearts. In the next area, it's probably safer to walk in the upper area. Um, I guess we're going in here. Are you a teleporter maze? No. Oh, you... Doing exactly what the person did not want us to do. <laughs> oh, B! B! Wow, that B destroyed me. I gotta remember, I got, I got my dudes. Ow. Oh. So we mostly check the bottom path for doors. Yeah, at least the whole... Oh shit, okay, it's all the scroll here. But also... Ugh, I wanted that. Moeware, what's the, uh... Oh, I, I can't get back up. What's the amiga of this room? What would you rate this? Oh my god, you can't make it. Okay, well you know there's lives in here. <laughs> I'm doing that in the room again. So that was like right after... Oh my god. None of my shots were coming out. I think they were getting eaten by that uh, trap. Yeah, it was like right after these stairs on the second level. But I have to go in with uh, this guy, otherwise. This was very particular to get into the door. I can't go in that door again. I thought it was this door. So I remember seeing this health. Maybe it's this last one. Well. Sad, I can't go back to the Amiga zone. I wanted another shot. I just had the, the bad platformer, and it wouldn't let me switch. Six out of ten? Yeah, it's no Adam's family. I still don't have the, the thing. Alright, let me see if there's anyone in this first level. That can give us a clue. Check these lanterns. Uh. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Found the red red key, no problem.
It was like an auto-scrolling room with rain with like big bright red squares and um auto-scrolling and like melted clocks like a repeating background of melted clocks. I guess it wasn't melted clocks, it was just clocks. I don't know, it screamed very Amiga, but only like a Japanese person had, had seen an Amiga game for the first time. Does that make sense? Oh, tire! They like some Amiga games, I know that. They've gotten some ports. Oh, we got some keys. Ah, and the, the red key. The tires are so hard to hit. Especially when they're on top of you. As they often are. Hold on. I would have put something here. Check above the fourth lamppost in this area for the red key. So, yeah, she would just tell you. She's like, yeah. <laughs> you fool. I want to go back to the Amiga zone. I guess uh, doing that one stage was the clue to check the doors here, because you probably wouldn't keep checking the doors. every door, unless you're me. In which case, you totally would. <laughs> You've played enough uh, weird stuff to know. I wanna go back. I wanna go back in the Amiga zone. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm... this guy, though, when we go to the Amiga zone. Yeah, I swear it was this one. I'm gonna have to look at the footage. I wonder if you can kill these. They, like, take hits, but no, I, I, I grabbed a bomb and that usually kills all killable enemies. Climb! That's the only thing about um, the weird auto-jumping thing is you can't jump if your character's airborne. <laughs> Dang. I'll never know. Ah! It's one of those, I'm just gonna come at you. And since this game has generating damage, this is kind of an Amiga game. It's got generation. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that goes full screen. I don't know why I thought it was like a flamethrower. This guy's a real pain in the butt. No, I wanted to heal. I didn't get the chance. I, I guess it would heal the same, right? I don't know. There has to be, like, a, a reason you want to use the, the pause button one. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, oh, it's so fast. It's much faster than you. Look how many hearts we got, though. You think they hide secrets in these rooms? Also, it would be a messed up thing. <laughs> Gurosu Castle. Yeah, the boomerang seems pretty good on those guys. Could use health though. Feltump, are you still here? 
Let's see, uh, what's the main advantage of... Jeez, I cannot kill these guys. Of using the, the sacrifice. Oh, gee, I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's what I get for, for, for chatting. <gasps> I can't... Oh, okay. Ah, jeez, no, 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 bear! <laughs> Alright, I'm getting generated at the end of the game. Why would you sacrifice the horse? You get more health than you would uh, a normal death. Bears suck. I need to get up here. Oh, that guy is golden. I need a little cape. Can I get... What if I just said no? No? Okay. <laughs> okay, these react like the bear. And they, they jump when you shoot. Sacrificing the horse's full health. Alright. We'll have to do that at one point. Hopefully you can get more lives. You've done well to get this far. Your quest will be much harder from here. I only call on Blink when you really need him. Well, we kind of killed all our Blinks in that last level. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, good, full health. Now you can uh, recover from that. Oh, so many blinks. All the blinks, all the time sweepers. Oh yeah, I wonder if I still need to find the red key. Let's take the upper path. Because, I mean, if an item spawns down there, I can always get it by falling down. Like there. Game better reward me for having keys now. Game spent, like, all this time without keys. <laughs> and now I have all these keys and no chests. Oh, woe is me. There's one. God dang it. Why do you do this to me? Oh, it's the angry Aztec the coin. Now as a little guy. He's just a little guy. He don't know anything. I want to kill this guy. I don't know how they move. Orb. Good. Good orb. The next areas will be even harder than before. If you don't stay alert, the Emperor will surely defeat you. Here we got. Oh, man, I want to use the... the Hamburglar, but... If there's platforming involved, there might be a problem. Also, I tried it. It looked like a door, but it's just an archway. Oh. Dang. Oh, what was it? Oh, can't find out. I had to think about it, I was like, do I have a weapon that would deal with the clouds from down here? And then the answer was no. <laughs> so this is the best option I got. So maybe snipe a cloud. Game's good. Maybe not so much with the generation. 
Like, this game could use some iframes. Like, because the boss fights. <laughs> Oh, and none. The Emperor's castle, at last. Once you go in, you won't be able to get out. You must go and save your father. Ill pray the gods protect you, Isle. But I guess they couldn't fit a uh, apostrophe in there. Translating Japanese games is hard. Because of ROM limitations. <laughs> Okay, so we have the princess with us. We could jump up here. If she's so desired. And maybe I want to. Oh god! When she has a, f a flower, she's gone. Hmm. I had a feeling that would happen. I think our main dude can get up here. Get it. Okay. Aw, oh, that's a full heal. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't need it. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. God. No, stop it. No bully. Stop it. <laughs> it's easy to get bullied in this game. Alright, any, any goodies? nice this background is. This is a nice castle you got here, Emperor Garasu. Godasu? So the main thing that has killed me so far has been bosses and uh, death pits. So if we need to restart this game, we'll, we'll probably be doing okay. So we do have four, uh... We have four blinks in the, the pocket. I don't like this. I, I, had, I had a feeling. Oh, you can't do anything about that. I had a feeling we are gonna get I Want to Be the Guide. <laughs> I can't believe I want to be the guy I stole from Alley Blink. Can you believe it? Shit. I should be shooting. <laughs> I, I mean, I think uh, I think the sun or the moon kills you. Like, uh, it just falls on you. I think the sun just falls on you. Like, it, it falls like one of the apples in one of the levels. They reminded me. Wait, this game has ice physics? It does now. <laughs> oh, and all the scroller with the character... ...that can't quite make the jumps. Yeet. Ah, that, that, that was a trick. <laughs> You're like, oh, the bomb power up is so nice. And then, nope. <laughs> Are you gonna fall? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I could just run off this. Ah, ice physics.
An important thing to do while you stream video games is to insinuate that video games stole everything from another video game you're playing. <laughs> no matter no matter the age or the <laughs> absurdity of the claim. It's a it's a streamy 101. World's a rogue. What if we were just the princess and we just said... Yee -yee. Okay, we're doing okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Dragon Quest stole from, uh, from this. You're right. <laughs> Oh, these track, like... Even if it doesn't make sense for them to track, like they travel backwards. No! Okay, that wasn't a death pit. That's good. I'm getting that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have got that. I think it worked out in the end, so... I need to pick the other character, because I can't fucking jump. <laughs> oh, I can't. No, that was an owie. Damn it. <laughs> I missed uh, a free owie. By the way, please don't bully my, my owie pronunciation. Is it owie? Owie, right? Okay, at least there's full health here. I gotta remember that the princess is shorter, so her shot actually hits the bullets on the ground. <laughs> well, what's chat saying? Swapping between protagonists who are on the screen at the same time? Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Wizards. Also, that wasn't a full health. It's just a big health. So that's when you gotta move over. Damn, no, damn it. I thought I could get under him. I assume I can't sacrifice the, the, the horse when the horse is here, but maybe that's a bad assumption. Oh, you can stand on this, okay. Oh, you can't sacrifice. Okay. We have enough horses. There, okay. I did it. <laughs> I got... <it. laughs> it's just like you just get ping-ponged around. It's really funny. Ow. Misread that. Don't. <laughs> Ow. Rude. My poor horses. Why did I do that? I think I thought I was gonna go further forward, maybe? No, I wanted to go under. I did every boss in this game with like shit ton of health. <laughs> okay, at least you're in the, the red. mention this, but if you're shooting, you also can't move a little bit after a while. Yep. I think we're- I think we'll be okay.
Yay! It's moving. <laughs> this is where you accidentally hit start and uh, select. Sorry, run and select. Ah! <laughs> it tricked me. It's our dad! Oh my god, look at this mustache. That is a good 8-bit mustache. You did it, Karu. And all your friends are here. Thanks for saving me. If you hadn't defeated the Emperor, he'd have ruled the world. H how? <laughs> Karu defeated the Emperor because of courage. Like, what, what part of kidnapping you? <laughs> His friends helping. I want you to always value that courage. And friendship. Owie Blink was the friends we made along the way. Look directly at the camera. Why was such a small group able to defeat the Emperor? It was because of deep friendship. <laughs> Sorry. If they had tried the fight alone, they would have lost. Strength bonded in friendship gives people much more power. It was this power of friendship that led Keru to victory. So much friendship. Thank you for playing. And there's what the horse looks like. <laughs> it's not a chibi sprite. I hope, I hope everyone had a good time with Owie Blink and Dragon Egg. How what time is it? It's only six. We've been going for two hours, but I feel like I gotta call it early just because, and you know, I'm taking care of folks. So I hope you don't mind that. Yeah, there, there's the producer, Ryuchi Nishizawa. That's the Wonder Boy guy and the Clockwork Aquario. I know that name. They're on Twitter. I really like Clockwork Aquario, except for it might be the easiest arcade game I've ever played. <laughs> Is it the easiest arcade game I've ever played? Sure feels like it. Yeah, no problem, Feltemp. Thanks for being here. I mean, there's a lot of PC Engine games to play, but... I think I gotta... I gotta go and taking care of someone who's recovering from surgery. Uh, I was hoping they'd kiss at the end. I do want to play that um, GBA Astro Boy game. Because it has a bunch of Tezuka characters. I, I don't know if Blink shows up. Y'all can spoil it. I know the Three-Eyed One is in it. I think the, I know the Three-Eyed One is like the actual primary antagonist of GBA Astro Boy. Um, I know Blackjack is in it. I know the Phoenix appears. Uh, this is one of those restart the system at the end. So let's go. To the thank you screen. Thanks. Thanks everyone for joining me today. I know the games were a little short, but you know, you cards. What can you do? <laughs> that's that's my excuse. Uh so yeah, Wednesday I gotta take off. Normally I, I'd stream Wednesday, but I will stream Thursday in its place. Actually, the next couple weeks this will be the kind of schedule you'll be seeing. So Thursday, uh, we're gonna play Moon Crystal, which is kind of like if Japan 
Japan saw Prince of Persia and was like, what if we made an NES platformer that had kind of that, that rotoscope feel? I guess they, they saw Prince of Persia or Karateka. But Karateka doesn't have the the the, the, the platforming, so. But yeah, it, it does feel like it's like a halfway part between a cinematic platformer and a regular platformer. It also has a lot of cutscenes, like Ninja Gaiden style. Uh, and then Friday, a new game came out uh, on Steam, on the Switch, and GOG, called Lunistis. L Lunistis. I played the demo of it a few months ago for Sage, and I really enjoyed it. And it came out, and it's only $5. It's, it's only $5, guys. So yeah, you should catch that with me, and if you like what you see, throw five bucks. Uwear's playing it right now. This this second. <laughs> Ooh. I like Pride Ooh. Um, and then I don't know what to do about Saturday because the crew can't get together uh, for Pokemon reasons. So I might play Just Say Radio. And then Sunday I want to do something with the Discord. I miss you all. I miss watching uh, dumb Kamen Rider films and stuff. Let's do that. Let's watch... A Let's watch more Kamen Rider, or I got all those Godzilla films. There's the Discord if, if you want to join, if that sounds like something that you'd want to do. Uh, I'm on co-host. I don't have a command for that yet, uh, but I'm Snake Man on co-host. Snake Man Zero on Twitter. That's going to be it for me today. Let's see who we can raid. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna raid an uh, old pal of mine, Ghost Pilot. He might not know who I am under this name, but he's playing Lord the uh, Lord of the Sword, which is a I think it's a Master System action RPG. I think it's very much like uh, that one game we played. Only without the uh, Japanese adventure game part. So let's go say hi to Ghost Pilot. They're named after Neo Geo game, or an SNK game. Actually, yeah, it is a Neo Geo game. So it must be good. Also, I think Lord of the Sword is by the, the team that did Ken Sidon. And Ken Sidon's really cool. We need to play more Master System, is what I'm, I'm hearing. But yeah, go say hi. And I'll see you later next time. Bye!